big feelings book. Sometimes I grumble, squinch. By Rachel Vell, illustrated by Hai Wong Yum. Grumble is another word for complain. Squinch is when you're all tense up and you're not very happy. Squinch. Sometimes I grumble, squinch. My name is Katie Honors, and I'm a really nice kid. I always go along nicely. I'm happy to play any game when a friend comes over, even if I lose. I'm a good sport. Good game, I say. Either way. I hardly frown. If there isn't mango sorbet, I say that's okay. I like cookie dough, too. Mom smiles and says I can get sprinkles, which is extra. I didn't even ask. Katie is such a pleasure. Mom says, "It's Katie. She really is." Dad agrees. I fit perfectly in their hugs. They are very proud of me, but there is something they don't know. Is it that they don't know? I see a sad face. Some mornings, my little brother Chuck crawls into my bed while I am still sleeping. He breathes hot on my eyelid. <sighs> A drool from his wet mouth plunks onto my arm. The little baby brother drool on her. Ew. The first word I say in the whole day is ew. I say it very quietly, though. Ew. I put on my beautiful new shirt. I love it. It cheers me right up. Chuck follows me down to the breakfast and sits in my seat. Uh oh. That's my seat, Chuck. I tell him nicely. Oh, Katie says, "Mom, you don't mind, do you?" I do mind, but I say it. It's okay, and I move to Chuck's seat. I notice that she does things nicely and quietly. Sometimes I grumble, squinch. It means that she wants to complain. My insides tighten, and I think mean thoughts. I wish that I had a trampoline or a treehouse or a giraffe instead of a brother. If I had one of those instead of a brother, I could sit in my own seat at breakfast. Here's your bibble, bibble. Dad says to Chuck. Bibble, bibble is what Chuck calls toast with butter. Chuck doesn't like cereal. Chuck only likes bibble, bibble. <laughs> Chuck smashes his buttery fist into my bowl of cereal. Oh. Oh, Chuck. No punching, Katie. Cereal, silly, Mom says, putting him down on the floor. Say you're sorry to Katie. I wish I could pop him like a balloon. I wish he'll kaboom into a million of bajillion bibble bibble crumbs. I wish he would disappear. Katie is very upset that her little brother is bothering her. 
But I don't yell. Those wishes. I grumble, squinch them right down. Chuck scampers over and grabs me with his milky hands. He snuggles his buttery face against my beautiful new shirt. I am a tight, horrible squinch of grumble. Oh, her little brother got her shirt dirty. It's her new shirt. Chuck loves you, Dad says. He pulls Chuck off me and carries him away, singing and smiling. You okay? Mom asks me. I nod because I am okay. I'm always okay. But that nod is a lie. I am not okay. And lying about it is making me cry. And then I just can't grumble, squinch my feelings down anymore. She tried to keep all her sad feelings or all inside. And she's saying that she can't grumble, squinch anymore. It means that she she wants to complain and she she's all tense about it. And she can't hold it anymore. Chuck ruins everything, I yell. He's sticky and stinky and he breathes on me and I want to sit in my own chair and everybody smiles at him, but he is a buttery baby on my shirt. And he is a buttery baby on my shirt and I wish I could plume him up. Then it's quiet. I'm scared. I didn't mean it, but also I did mean it. They won't think I'm such a pleasure anymore. I wish I could grumble squinch it all back inside. Maybe I ruined everything. What do you think? Do you think she ruined everything when she shared her feelings with mom and dad? I wait for mom to yell that I'm bad. To say, you go to your room and think about it to look disappointed in me. I looked up at mom's face. It's really hard sometimes, mom whispers instead, even when you love somebody. I nod, this nod is true. Mom is telling her, it's very hard sometimes, even when you love somebody, to not be mad at them. Mom says, I know. She holds her arms out to me. So mom is not disappointed in Katie for sharing her feeling. She holds me up safe in there. I still fit perfectly. Even though I didn't grumble squinch all my secret thoughts inside, there's room for the whole me. The end. Well, this is a story about a little girl who is, uh, she wants to complain, but she kept it all inside. But she finally share her feeling and mom didn't get upset. This is the, what the author wants to share with you. When I was a little, and even after I got bigger, when I was little, it felt important to me to be a pleasure. It means to be nice, to be good, to be well behaved, but also to be cheerful, happy, fine. Most of the time that was pretty easy for me. I actually felt that way, but sometimes it was hard. Sometimes I had grouchy feelings or sad or frustrated, angry, even rageful or mean feelings. How could a pleasant, easy, happy kid like me be feeling such things? And what would people think of me if I let those complex, confusing feelings out? I didn't want to feel out of control, and I certainly didn't want anyone to see me as nasty, cranky, bad. So I taught myself to grumbles, grumble, squinch, those negative emotions right down. Do you ever grumble, squinch? It doesn't feel great, and it doesn't feel fully honest, right? Also, it doesn't allow you to move past a troubling feeling, or even figure out why you're feeling that way. 
Grumble squinching is not a great solution, I decided. But is the alternative to kaplum, to turn into a bombaloo whenever you have a big challenging emotion? I realized those are not the only choice. Each of us has so many feelings. Not all of them are pleasant. We are all, every one of us, entitled to the full buffet of human emotion. You are still you, and still lovable, even when you get frustrated or cranky, annoyed or sad. You don't have to hold all that in or hide it. In fact, it's better if you can share what you're feeling with somebody. Sharing honestly helps you cope. There's room for the whole you here. I promise. With love, Rachel Vell. So the author is re- reminding us through this story is that grumble squinch just does not help. If you grumble when you complain and you you're very tense and you hold all your feelings inside, um, it doesn't help. But does but it doesn't mean that you shout and yell and and be all upset. But learn to find a way that you can share your feelings to your mom or your dad or someone, so that you will feel better in a nice, calm way. The end.